Good afternoon. My name is Ben Weisenberger. I'm an application engineer with Ally PLM Solutions. I want to welcome you to the Ally PLM Lunch Bite series. We hold these sessions every other Thursday at 12:30 Eastern and 11:30 Central. Today's topic: uh, we are going to talk about Express Route. If you have any questions during today's session, please write them down and send us an email. A uh, quick over overview about Express Route. Express Route allows you to easily construct parts that move fluid, such as air coolant and hydraulic fluid, from one point to another in an assembly. Uh, the Express Route module provides a structured workflow that allows you to quickly define a 3D path between parts and define two part properties. After defining these parameters, the software constructs a two part for you. Uh, some topics we'll cover today. Uh, creating paths to create tubes in Express Route. We'll use Path Express to automatically create paths, and we'll manually create line segments by locking to both planes and the X, Y, and Z axis. We'll also create a flexible curve using the curve segment command. We'll also look at editing properties and creating a bend table and a little bit of piping as well. So we'll switch over to Solid Edge here. As you can see, I have a gas tank and a fuel pump here, and we're going to create a few uh, tubing paths between them. So first thing we're going to do is go into the Express Route, which is under your Tools tab up here. So we'll open Express Route. Now first thing we want to do is we're going to create a main fuel line between the pump and the gas tank. So we need to measure uh, the diameter that this tube is going to be. So we're going to go under the Inspect tab and Inquire Element. We'll zoom in here and click on the tube here. And we can see that our diameter is 2 inches. So we're going to create a tube between the two parts that is 2 inches in diameter. So we can close onto this, go back to our Home tab. And the first thing we're going to use is Path Express. We're going to use that to create our first path. And, uh, what Path Express does, it quickly creates a 3D path for a part tube without having to manually draw the individual lines of the path. Path Express generates a path between two points that is orthogonal to the default reference planes. These planes must be circular or elliptical features on a part or the endpoint of a tube segment or a sketch element. So to use this, we're going to click Path Express. And we need to click on the starting point of our tube path. So we'll click on our fuel pump up here, and we'll go over and click on the ending point in our gas tank, and there you can see it created our path for us. So we'll go ahead and hit finish. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create our tube, so we'll uh, select the tube option. Now you can see here we have a bunch of different options for bend radius, diameter, diameter and length. These are all um, checked as use default value, and where these default values are located, you can see here are in Solid Edge Options. So if we go over to Solid Edge Options first and open that up and go to Two Properties, we can see the same values here. So if you don't like those default values, you can enter your own and apply those and save it every time then that you open Express Wrap. So we go back into Tubing here. We're going to give this the name, Main Fuel Line. And remember, we measured our diameter to be 2 inches, so we're going to change our outer diameter to be 2 inches. So we'll hit OK. We'll select our path, accept that. And you can see we get an error here. So we need to go back and change our bend radius. It must not be big enough, so we'll go back into our tube options. We'll uncheck that, and we'll change this to 2 inches as well. Hit OK. Accept it again, and there you go. There's our path now. We can finish that out. Now, you can still see the path that was drawn there, so to get rid of that, you can just right-click and say Hide All Paths, and now that path is gone. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a linear section return line to the fuel tank. So we're going to create a return line from the pump back around to the fuel tank. And to do that, we're going to draw each segment so we go up here and use the line segment command. It gives you some tips here um, that you can uh, switch from the axis to the planes using the X and Z keys on your keyboard or how to clear your lock. So what we're going to do is go up here to our 
fuel line or fuel pump. Click the uh, outer circle here. This is going to be our starting point of our return line. And so now we have our line. We want it to be four inches long, so we'll type in four and hit enter, and we'll left click. And now you can see down here at the bottom we have this triad, and we can lock to different planes in that using the X key on the keyboard. So we're going to lock to the YZ plane, and we're going to make another segment 35 inches long. So we'll type that in, 35 inches. We'll place it about there. And now we want to come over across, so we're going to lock to the X axis using the Z key. And we want that to come over and be even uh, with this fitting here. So we'll click that. And now we want to go back down vertically. So we'll lock to the Z axis. We'll go four inches for right now. Click in place. Now we're going to right click and end that segment. And now we're going to start over here at our fitting. We'll click and place it in the center of that fitting. We'll come out four inches, place that. Now we want to come out horizontally on the Y axis. And we want that to be even with the other segment we drew earlier. So we'll click there, right click and end that. Now to get these two to connect, we're going to use a relay command, just connect. And we'll connect the two endpoints. Now we have a completed segment there. So next what we're going to do is we're going to create the tube along this path now. So we'll click our tube command again. We're going to change our material. Let's make it aluminum. We're also going to change our diameter and bend radius a little bit here. We're going to make this 0.6 and our bend radius 1 inch. And we'll give it a different name. We'll call it return line 1 and hit OK. We can select our path. Right click to accept. And there we go. There's our return line path. Uh, next thing we're going to do is now is we're, I'm going to show you how to create a flexible uh, line. And we're going to do this again from this side of the fuel pump down to the gas tank. So to do this, we're going to use Path Express again. We're going to select our starting point and our ending point. All right, now as you can see, we're kind of running through the other line here. So what this option up here, port segment length, that's the initial length that comes off of the start and end. So we're going to change that to 12 inches. So now you can see it's up and out of the way. And now we have some other options here that we can play around with. The Path Express, uh, you can, it automatically creates paths for you. Uh, you can use the previous and next buttons to preview the available path choices. Uh, the order of the paths goes from the simplest path with the least number of segments to the most complex path. And the maximum number of segments in a path that Path Express will generate for you is five. So you can click through these and you can see the different paths and pick one that you might like. And we're just going to go with the first one and hit finish. Now to create our flexible uh, tube, we're going to go up to our segments and use our curve segment. And we'll select that path we just created. Now, Curve Fit has three options. I'll show you all three. So if we accept midpoints, you can see that it connects to the midpoint of the line here. If we go back and change this to endpoints, you can see we go to our endpoints. If we go to all points, it selects endpoints, midpoints. So it selects all of them, and you can see our curve there. So we're going to accept that. And now we're going to create a tube along that path. So to do that, we'll create another tube. We'll call this line 3, leave it as copper. We're going to change our diameter to 0.6. And now we'll select that curve path we created, accept it. And now you can see we have a flexible hose in there now. Now some other things we can do. We can add some end treatments to our tubes. So let's go up here to our starting point of our first tube we made. To edit this, we just have to click on it, and then we can select Edit Definition. Now uh, we can click our End Treatment step here. We want to do it to end one, so we'll select that. Uh, there's a couple different types of end treatments you can do. You can do Expand, Flange, Close, or Reduce. We're going to do Reduce, and we'll change a couple values here. We'll change the outside di diameter to 0.5 and our depth is 0.25. Hit OK, and then once we hit Preview, you can now see our treatment step there. 
All right, so now after that, let's say we put, put this into a bigger assembly and one of our tubes was in the way and we needed to move it. Well, to move it, you can come up here to move segment. We can select a direction that we want to move it. And then you can left click and hold on to the segment and you can drag it along to move it out of the way of other parts in your assembly. To get this to update, you just go update all links and it's updated there. Uh, another way that you can uh, change the values is to add dimensions to some of the lengths. So we'll add a couple dimensions in here. And we'll do a little bit of editing here, a little dynamic edit. Change those, go back to tools, edit all links, and that's another way that you can change the length and position of your tubes. All right, so let's open up another example here. Uh, with this, we're going to go ahead and do another tube. Let's make this steel. Let's call it line one. Type in some other values here, 0.75, 1.36 for the diameter. Hit OK, and we'll just place that real quick. Now let's say we wanted to cut this and add a fitting to this corner. If you want to do that, you can go up to the split segment command. So we'll select that. And then you just click on the segment where you want to split. So we want to split here and here. Now we can go back and edit a definition of our first path. And we can reselect the segments that we want. And we want it to stop where we cut it there. So now you can see that we cut that tube at that spot. And then we want to create another tube here. So we'll just go back in the tube again. Select steel. We'll just call this one line two. Change these values to match the other one. And we'll select single and select that one segment again. So there, now we have two separate tubes in there. So now if we want to, we can go in here and delete these segments. Add some dimensions back on there so we can edit it later. All right, now we can close on our express route, and if we come over to our parts library and our standard parts, let's say this is a fitting we wanted to place in here, a 90 degree elbow. We can go ahead and hit place, and then we need to assemble it, so it wants us to do a mate, we'll mate it, and insert it on here. And now we're facing the wrong way, so we'll turn this, we'll use the steering wheel to do that. So we'll click on the fitting, we'll drag the steering wheel, to sit in the center of the fitting. So then we can click it and rotate it around the center of it and type in 90. So now we're pretty close to this other fitting, but you can see it's not all the way on there. So we'll go back into Express Route real quick. We'll go back into Relate and say Connect. And we want to connect this endpoint to the center of the circle here. And we update it. And there we go. Now we have our fitting on there. And if we go in and we change some of our dimensions here and update that, our fitting and pipes all stay together there. All right, so now let's close this out and open it back up again. And we're going to do a piping example with that same sketch there. So we'll go in and do a piping route. And you have all kinds of options in here, different materials, diameters of the uh, tubes that you want. What we're going to do is use some threaded fittings, one inch diameter. We'll hit OK. So we'll select our path then, accept that. It places our fittings for us. And now if we hit preview, it'll also fill in the rest of our path with pipes there. We can hit finish. And so now we have a piping route. What you can do then is go into tools and go into pipe report. And you can get the individual cut lengths of each piece of pipe and the different fittings. So you can see that we have our elbow piece in here. We have the length of each pipe and the quantity. And you can save this out as a text file. 
Now, one other thing that we might want to do, let's say we needed to add a T fitting in here. So we can go back to our segments, go to our line segment. We're going to lock it to the Y axis. Let's say we want it right in the midpoint. So we'll extend that out. We can then right click on our pipe route and say edit definition and select our path step once again. If we click on that path and say accept, it now puts in that T fitting for us. We hit preview and there we go. Now we have a new fitting in there just like that. Uh, one other thing real quickly, if we go back over to our other example, if you wanted to create a bend table for this tube, you can go over here, select bend table, select that tube, hit accept, and it gives you the total cut length of that tube, and then each feed length for each section and the bend radius for each bend. And you can also save that out as a text file. All right, uh, to summarize here real quick, we went over how to use Path Express and how to manually create line segments by locking into both planes and the XYZ axis. We also went over some curve segment commands. I showed you a little bit about the tube command properties and where those options are in solid edge options. I went through Ben table and how to save that out as a text file, as well as a little bit of piping route and how to add fittings from your standard parts. Uh, replays of our lunch bites can see, be seen on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash LIPLM. I uh, hope to have this one up by the end of the day, hopefully. Uh, we have a few training classes coming up in April. Uh, if you want more information on those, you can always visit our website. Uh, once again, thanks for your attention. I really appreciate it. I hope you found this session informative. Uh, please email us any questions you may have or any ideas for future Lunch Bite topics. Our next session in two weeks will be about framing. And once again, I appreciate your time. Thanks, and have a great day.